If you're watching this, you've probably just started or you're about to start studying psychology. So what is psychology? And what are psychologists trying to do? Psychology is trying to make sense of what people think, what they feel and what they do. Psychology is the science of behaviour and of experience. What we're all interested in is what mechanisms, what processes um, affect behaviour and produce behaviour in the people we see around us. The difference between common sense psychology and scientific psychology is that we use particular types of methods, scientific methods, on a systematic basis to try to identify exactly what is going on and the reasons why a person behaves the way that they do. In psychology, you'll learn about the influence of our biology on our behaviour. The biological approach, simply, is um, the idea that all our behaviour emerges from our body, but um, most of it emerges from the brain. And the biological psychologist is interested in how these behaviours are organised within the brain. And that essentially is what a biological psychologist does. Although we like to think we know exactly why we do what we do, in psychology, you'll learn about Freud and something called the unconscious. The unconscious is that part of your mind which is not immediately accessible to you. But it was a fundamental part of Freud's theory because he felt that it was your unconscious that more than anything drives your behaviour. So he thought there was only a small fraction of our personality that was actually available to us, that was, that was conscious, that we knew about. He saw the adult personality as being like an iceberg and it was only the tip that we had access to. There were these unresolved conflicts from our childhood still going on beneath the surface. You'll also find out that psychologists have learned a lot from animals. A Russian scientist, Ivan Pavlov, was investigating the digestive system of dogs when he made an unexpected observation. Pavlov uh, discovered, not surprisingly, that uh, animals will salivate if you present them with food. But he then went on to show that if you present a click or a light at the same time as the food, they will eventually come to salivate just as soon as the light goes on or the click is sounded. But are we that different? The behaviourist ideas, classical conditioning, are applied today in many advertisements that you can think of where, for example, when a manufacturer is selling some new beverage, they might have a group of people clearly attractive and enjoying themselves, and therefore you come to associate the new product with people who are having fun, so that the product that previously had no particularly desirable qualities comes to have desirable qualities in your eyes. And that, that happens with quite a few different kind of drinks. They draw you in through saying, oh, this will happen, come and try it. The more we're conditioned to associate the pleasant feelings of being wooed and spoiled with a product, the more likely it is we'll buy it. It's hardly surprising, then, that the founder of behaviourism, John Watson, went on to be so successful in advertising. So there you have it. Psychology is the scientific study of why we behave in the way we do. And in trying to answer this question, it looks at our biology, our mind and our environment. And when you finish with psychology, you'll know much more about yourself and about other people.